Another presidential candidate, uh, John Dramani Mahama, who has won the nation, is sitting on a ticking time bomb if uh, urgent fixes are not given to the unemployment situation in the country. The former president says unrest over unemployment and tough economic conditions in neighboring countries could potentially replicate here if the administration fails to attack a sense of urgency to the challenge. Mr. Mahama has, however, promised to create a 24-hour working economy where three shifts work eight hours each around the clock to create real jobs for the youth. He was addressing professionals and business owners at a forum put together by the Center for Social Justice, a think tank here in Accra. The National Apprenticeship Program, the next NDC administration will institute. Governments will engage and pay for the service of master craftsmen and women and artisans in the communities to equip and train the young people, including youth in Zongos and deprived urban communities in various tra traditional vocations such as dressmaking, catering, hairdressing, auto mechanics, electricians, plumbers, etc. Upon completion of their training program, government will give these uh, newly passed out um, 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 trainees will give them the needed tools and equipment so that they can start their own businesses and earn a living for themselves. We believe that the NDC's One Million Jobs Plan and Free TVET and National Apprenticeship Program, as contained in the People's Manifesto, are important because the, the failure to create jobs for the teeming youth could prove disastrous for this nation. It is a ticking time bomb, as events in our neighboring countries are clearly demonstrating. We stand to gain a lot as a nation because we're roping the informal sector in our proposed digital economy. We also expressed disappointment in the current administration for its incompetent management of the economy, which has landed the country back to a hippic status, a situation he has promised to fix by giving opportunities to Ghanaian businesses if a second coming comes to pass. The rate of worrying by this government has dazed many observers. The IMF in its, in its sub-Saharan African regional economic outlook forecasts the current rates of borrowing and debt at a frightening 76.7% debt to GDP ratio. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, it's my pleasant duty to inform, to inform you that Ghana is back to HIPIC status and an Anna Kofado and Kenoforiata administration. But growth in itself will not mean much if the people it is supposed to give improved livelihoods and jobs are left behind. And this we, the NDC, are determined to arrest, to address. We observe that a vast percentage of Ghana's economy is controlled by foreign establishments who end up repatriating their profits made in this country to their countries of origin. This is why we've decided that the next NDC government will create more opportunities for Ghanaian businesses to grow and thrive. We'll strengthen the regulatory framework and restore and work actively to increase Ghana's stake in the financial sector.